Hello and welcome back to Down the Track. In this episode, we will be reviewing day two of the match between India and England at Lords. And uh, the day started off with a brilliant comeback from England. So India um, ended the day yesterday at 270 odd for three, uh, but uh, England got them all out for 364. So just less than 100 runs uh, were scored um, on day two, and seven wickets were taken by England. Some really good bowling again. Anderson at the forefront. He was the he was the key, used the second new ball brilliantly, uh, well supported by um, Ollie Robinson. A brilliant showing by, a much better showing, I would say, by Wood. He was poor yesterday, but a, a much uh, improved performance by him. But yeah, it was all about Jimmy Anderson swinging it in, swinging it out. He bowled really well with that second new ball. And um, India were in all sorts. Uh, Rahul got dismissed early, so did Rahane. Uh, a good uh, fight from uh, Pant and Jadeja, which helped India go to 360. Otherwise, they, they could have been a lot for under 350. So... India would be a tad bit disappointed. I think 400 was on the card, especially 260 for two when Virat was batting. And after that, you know, eight wickets for almost 100 runs, um, they would be disappointed with that. 400, I think, would have been out of England's reach, 400 plus. But uh, England's still in the game. I think, uh, you know, they bowled uh, magnificently. It's still a lot of work to do for them. But if you just uh, look at the way, you look at the position they were in yesterday as compared to today, I think there is a big difference there. Uh, and now it's uh, down to their batsman and down to Joe Root. Before we just get uh, into England's batting, we'll just talk more about India, I think, um, uh, with the tail, they tried their best, but when you have a long tail like that, it's going to be difficult to wag. Ishan Sharma consumed a few balls, but, uh, you know, <laughs> it was never going to be easy. It was all down to Rishabh Pant and Jadeja there. So maybe someone like an Ashwin could have scored runs, but in hindsight, you can say anything, right? Uh, but yeah, that's why Ashwin's place is like, you know, is debatable, like in, in the sense that uh, he deserves a place because he can provide with the bat. But, you know, in hindsight, you can see these things. Uh, let's see what happens at the end of the game. Uh, but yeah, that's certainly something that India will have to look out for, that uh, exposed tail. Um, yeah, and then just moving on to England's batting. Uh, Rory Burns and Joe Root were uh, brilliant. Uh, simply again, uh, a dogged approach, a very, uh, a very conservative, made sure he consumed balls. He didn't rotate the strike as much, strike rate of 25. And then, uh, as we saw in the last game, eventually one ball just got him. And so he'll need to work on that and need to work more than the strike rate. It's about rotating the strike rate. You can, it's test cricket. You don't need to play at a certain speed, but um, just to take pressure off yourself and then the non striker, it's, uh, you know, rotating the strike will help. But that's his style, I guess, and it's worked for him. But yeah, there's maybe a slight adjustment here and there will help him. But uh, yeah, Sibley was uh, uh, taken by Siraj. And then right after this next ball, a brilliant delivery by Mohamed Siraj to clean ball Hasib Hamid. It was a fantastic delivery. And that was a really good spell by Siraj. I got India on the front foot there, 24 for two were England and uh, India were looking good. That's when Joe Root stepped in with Rory Burns and they built, in, uh, built up a very, very uh, solid and important partnership. Root looking brilliant again, 48 or 75 balls, not out. He's the key again. Um, if he gets a hundred, a big hundred, it'll, you know, uh, really do good for English chances. If he does get out under a hundred, then it'll be difficult. So he holds the key. Uh, support from Bairstow uh, tomorrow will be important. But yeah, Rory Burns gave him the fantastic support. And um, unfortunately, he got out just at the end of uh, day's play. Momochami get him LBW. And um, yeah, Michael Holding didn't think it was LBW. Even I thought, uh, you know, he's going to review it. He did review it, but it was plum. So I got that wrong as well. But it was uh, a very good piece of bowling from Mohammed Shami there. Rory Burns will be disappointed. I felt he played really well. He was playing Jadeja well as well. The, it wasn't too comfortable with Jadeja, but especially the fast bowlers, um, he batted well. He, he left the ball uh, when needed, uh, hit the boundaries when needed. And Joe Root was... Uh, Joe Root is in fantastic touch. He's timing the ball brilliantly. He's getting boundaries with these, so there's no issues with him in that sense. Uh, 119 for three, I think it's uh, well evenly poised right now. India slightly ahead because they have the runs um, on the board, but they will need wickets. You know, um, the closer England get into this, uh, get to this target, it will cause some issues for India because they'll have to bat again and they'll have to put up a good score because um, right now the slow wicket does look good, but only time will tell the hint of spin for Jadeja. So that's something you have to watch out for. I think, uh, you know, again, the first session will be important. If conditions are a bit overcast, India will get some movement. Can they get their wickets? Um, catches will be key. I think they will get opportunities on this wicket, but uh, catches will be key from India's point of view. From England, again, like I said, Joe Root, but he needs to be backed by Johnny Presto and Butler. I think uh, these two uh, will have to play some good um, supporting knocks, whether it's a 
50 odd or 40 odd or 60 odd, but like, you know, building that partnership with Root and le letting Root bat around them. Uh, even if Root gets out, then these two, I think, need to take up the mantle. And then you have Moin Ali to come and chip away with the runs as well. So England have a long ba uh, batting lineup. I think up until Ollie Robinson, everyone can bat. Then you have Mark Wood and James Anderson. So it won't be easy for India, but uh, same thing for England. Uh, let's see how the day pans out. Uh, I feel England will get close to um, the 300 mark, probably 280, 290. And uh, yeah, but you never know. They can take the lead. They can be bundled out as well. Uh, only time will tell. Let's see wh what is in store for us for day three. But uh, uh, I think uh, for now, that's all. Uh, thank you so much for joining me and uh, we'll catch you after day three.